Tuesday, time to move our bodies. Um, I announced last week, last Monday, I announced that I was going to start burning it for 60 days. So January 2nd would have been my 60 days. And believe it or not, it was November 4th when I announced it. And my biggest thing was the core area, which is really exciting because that's what we're doing here. So I want to talk to you about that, okay? But before we talk about anything, I want to welcome all of you to our Tuesday Belly Dance Fit class with Patrice and our just like, you know, getting our bodies moving is what we're trying to do here, right? Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Patrice Evans. This is um, a channel where my aim is to unlock a woman's joy through her beautiful hair and from the health inside out and lifestyle, keeping Jesus at the center of all that we do. I will hopefully be able to talk to you more about our lifestyle and how we keep Jesus at the center of all we do. A lot of that came in with my Good Enough the Web series. So I'm working on a lot of things that I want to bring with you. So that's why I haven't been able to do a lot of the lifestyle part. But just stay tuned for more of that. And as the Lord leads me, I'm definitely going to be singing you words from the Lord when he tells me to. And after we dance, I always try to give you a message as best as I can. So anyway, if you're new to our channel, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for dancing with me. And today I wanted to work with you on, of course, the core, but let's see what we can do with the bottom part. Um, I had someone telling me that they wanted to work on the bottom, on our bottom. A lot of people look at me and they think, oh gosh, what does she do to make her bottom like that? Well, it's genetics. I mean, I'm an African-American woman and that tends to come with the territory, but it happened to come in my family and the legs and all of this, you know? Um, my son looks like a football player, like naturally, you know, that's just the way he was built. His father was a, a boxer, so I guess put, putting us together, you know, that's how he looks and my daughter looks like a gymnast. So that is hereditary. However, there are things you can do to build your body. You cannot spot reduce, which means you can't really lose weight in just one area, like you know, like I would like to do. But you can work the entire body, which is what we try to do on Tuesdays. Our aim is to do on Tuesdays. And because you're eating well, getting some rest, and taking the nutrients and the minerals and vitamins that you need, and exercising, when you're doing all those things, and you're trying to be joyful, doing all you can to be joyful, then the body can react to all that because you have cortisol levels that go up every time you're stressed. And that affects your body. And that's why I try my hardest to have my me time Mondays, to take my minerals and vitamins and stay hydrated. This week, you know, I'm finally back on my greens regimen and I'm trying to hydrate as much as I can, trying to keep a high alkaline um, diet. I'm getting over a cold and I did a lot of um, soups with wonderful, wonderful broths and great for getting rid of mucus and things like that. That's not good for the body. So these are the kinds of things that lifestyle that I can talk to you about with the health and working from the inside out. So we don't just do the outside. We think about the inside also. All right. So anyway, with today, I want to just do some things that will work the bottom part of our bodies. And we're going to use belly dance drills to do that. Okay. So I'm just going to use some belly dance music just so we can focus on it. First, we're going to do it without the music, and then we're going to add some music. Is that good, good with you? All right, this is going to be a quick one. Just something you can do on your in your time. My daughter just had a baby. I asked her, I said, is this something you think you could enjoy? She said, yes. Um, there was a woman in my church that said that she's got some, some things she's been working on with her abs, and she can't really do heavy stuff. So this is something that she can work on. I have my friend that's just very busy. So this is just great for just anybody, okay? So we're putting that our workout that I want to bring to you eventually when I find the right platform. We'll be doing that in January, but in the means in January is my goal. But in the meantime, let's just do some things that are easy to do at any time, any place, no matter what you're doing, okay? All right, so first thing I want you to do is just wake your body up. So we're just going to just, no music, side to side. What I'm doing is I'm bending my knees. Oh, wait, before we get started, I gotta show you. I, I showed y'all my back, look at my back in one week. Much better, right? I am holding my abs more than I did in my before picture, but not bad. So, I mean, I, I had lots of soups and I had some water weight from putting too much salt in the soup. And you know, woman stuff, like we just get that. So I learned that because I knew I wasn't eating poorly at all. I knew I was exercising, so I said, well, what could it possibly be? I wasn't feeling well, so I thought, was it the medicine and the salt? So I realized that there was a lot of 
water intake that I'm getting. And then there's dehydration at the same time. It's just a weird thing where you're holding water, um, but you also need water. So I wanna to talk to you more about that, but I tend to get that. And this is a, an area where I have been working and I think it's really, I'm responding really well, which is a blessing that that is hereditary as well. Doing a lot of back exercises and dancing and taking my class. So I just want to show you a little update. I promised that I would do that. All right, now let's get started. So I want you to just bend your knees. You see that? I just want you to bend. So I'm picking up my heel. Can you see my foot? Picking up my heel as I bend my knee, okay? Staying up straight, shoulders down, and you make sure you're breathing even though you're staying up straight, right? So let's just do that, just do that. Picking up your knees, all right? Now we're gonna lean into, let's, lean, let's have our feet hip width apart, leaning into the sides, holding your abs, have your hands out comfortably. You got that? Lean, 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 you got the lean? Lean, 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 let's do it faster. Lean, 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 just lean, lean, lean. There, now you've warmed up that side. Why don't you push with your hands? There you go, good job. Now we're gonna go forward and back. We're gonna go forward, back. We're not arching our back, we're just doing the hips. Forward, back, forward, back. You feel it, see it better this way. Back, forward, back. Okay, I'm not bending my knees at all. So let's just keep doing that. We're not arching yet, we're just moving this part right here, that's it. This is called isolation. If you don't know what isolation is, that's when only one part of your body is moving, everything else is staying the same. So we're going side, 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 forward, back, forward, back, go. Side, 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 forward, back. Let's do something with the arms. We're gonna go push, in and out, in, out, forward, back, forward, back. Here, 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 here. We're just going forward with our hands forward. Push your booty back and your hands are your back. Forward with your hands forward. Push your booty back and back. I'm, I'm moving my hip. I'm trying not to arch my back with that. Also, it's hereditary. I tend to arch my back very naturally. Okay, so let's go to every corner. Side, forward, side, back. Side, forward, side, back. Side, forward, side, back. How are you doing? Let's just do two more. There you go. Let's do the other side. Let's shake that out. You'd be surprised at how much you can feel this, right? When you're not even busting it or nothing. You're just moving our bodies. Okay, let's try it from the other side, okay? We were going this way, but now let's try and work the other way. It's good for the mind-body coordination. We're gonna start with just the uh, drill of just doing them separately, and then we'll do it all together. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna start with our left side, okay? Ready? Here, here, and let's just bring the other hand this way because it works later, works very well later when we incorporate the forward back. With the choreography, you're always thinking about what, where you're gonna end up or what you're going to transition into when you choreograph, that's a nice tip to keep in mind. Okay, two more, all right, we got that. Now let's do the forward. Only the hip though, right? We're going hip, forward, and back. Let me just remind you how that goes. Hip forward. This is like, it's almost like nothing else is moving but this. Okay? Back. You put your arms as far back as possible. Shoulders are down. Shoulders are down. Okay. So, let's do a four more in the, in the front facing me. Ready? And, man, I feel like my back is waking up because I've been working my back a lot, y'all. Uh, it's something very brand new to my life. I I've done lap, lap exercises, but I've never done deadlifts or any of that. And I want to tell you some of the things I'm doing so you can do them too. If you want me to film myself doing them, 
I'll film it, but I'm, you know, it's new to me. I'm, I'm more of a dancer, you know? So anyway, here we go. Let's start with the left side, okay? So I'm gonna go side, forward, side, back. Side, forward, side, back. Side, forward, side, back. Side, forward, side, back. Do you think you can move with it? You think you can go sideways with this? Okay, so let's see. If I go side, forward, I'm moving my hands back. Is that hard for you? Right, you see that? So what you're doing is you're going open together, open together, open together, open together. That's a lot, this is layering, okay? Now you're working, so belly dancing has a lot to do with the brain and the muscle, okay? You're talking to your brain and your muscle. So let's see if we can do two here and two here, and then we'll leave that alone and we'll go to the next drill, okay? Here we go. We're gonna start with the right side, okay? So you're gonna go open together, open together. You're doing three things. This is layering, <laughs> okay? You think you can do it? All right, let's try it. Here we go. Go. We're going to go to the right side, okay? So we're going open together, open together. Let's go to the left side. Open together, open together. Ooh, we did that. All right, now I promise you we do legs, right? This is something, now I, you know, have to make sure that these are stretched, the back here is stretched, okay? So let's just stretch the back of our legs. Make sure to stretch since we warmed our body up a little bit. Okay, stretch the back. Your heel is what, in your calves, you want to stretch them. And you want to stretch the front of your leg, might as well. Go ahead and stretch them. We have Scamper with us. Go ahead and stretch your arms just a little bit. Get yourself a little stretched. I like to go like this. I pull and I like to push my chest up and stretch. It lifts me up. I'm going to stretch my head. Okay, so we got a little bit of a stretch going on, just a little bit. Let's do it in a plie. Ready? This is what a plie is. It's, you're going over your hips, a little further out of your hips. Your feet are turned out like this, but they're turned out from up here. So your knees should be pointing to where your toes are. So how about we go like this? The wave is going like this. Your knees are not over your toes. Stay here and then come back up. All right? Try it here. Second position from up here. You're doing the second position from up here, okay? You're turning out. First position, your knee is over your toes, pointing to your toes. And then you're going out, outside of where your hips would be. Slightly out of that, okay? And then you need to be feeling this turning out in here. You need to be making sure you're turning your knee out. It shouldn't be going like this, okay? And you need to keep everything else straight. Hey, scamper. And I need to go a little further out, okay? And then you're gonna go down, okay? That is second position. I'm going to not give you the advanced one because I don't want you to do that. If you can do it, great. Don't do it if you don't feel like you can. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this roll the roll that we've been doing for a couple of weeks, but we're gonna do it in second position. Are we ready? This is where your arms are gonna be. They're gonna be out to the side, the same position that your feet are, like right. So go like this with your arms and just go up like that, like in your waist area, up to your waist. Now turning out, we're gonna go down. Just stay there. One, two, three, four, come up. And you're gonna go down and you're gonna come up. Tighten in the booty area. Tighten your booty area, okay? Let's do that again. Down. Tighten that booty area when you're coming up. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna show you my booty. Y'all ready to see my booty? <laughs> now this is a woman's show. I can't help it if guys decide to watch this too. Hopefully they're working out too. All right, I'm turned out and I should be feeling things pulling from in here. I'm out, I'm coming down. And when I come up, I'm feeling it in here and I'm tightening the booty area. Come up, pull, 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 pull. It should be from your booty area, okay? Y'all got that? So, do y'all remember this? 
Let's do a few of these. Here I go, one, and two, and three, and four. Got go one, and two, and three. Let's start with the right side. One, this is the side. Forward, side, forward, and side. Forward, side, forward. Very good, that did drill. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to go around with your waist. That's the last thing I want you to do, okay? I promise this will be the last thing. So, if you don't know how to do it, I have a video on how to belly dance where I break it down very well. It's my top video, by the way. And um, I can do a little quick mini lesson here. So, it's similar to what we were doing before, but you're, going, you're not going as big, and you're actually not just moving only the hip. You are actually breaking at the hip. See that? You're going to break it. So before we were going like this, we didn't have any break. It was like a stick move, all right? Now we're going to break it at the hip. Break. You see that break? Okay. So we're going to break it, break it, but the, you're still bending that knee like we did before, but we're not leaning into it, okay? So break forward back. You're breaking the forward back. Breaking. You break it. That's different. That's isolate. You're isolating still, but you're breaking it. Okay, now we're going to do the knees, going in and out like this, but we're not going to lean into it, okay? We're just going to go side, side, side. Let the knees drive the hip, okay? And you can squeeze your booty also. Okay, let the knees drive your hips. You got it? All right, so now we're going to put it together. We're going to go squeeze my right, break to the front, squeeze the left, break to the back. See that? Now I'm gonna put it together like it's a circle. So my knees are still doing it, but it's smooth and not popping it. See that? Okay. So you've got this move and you've got this move. Okay? Are you ready to do them? We're gonna do both moves in our second plie, in our second uh, position. All right? Advance can do the move that I did before, but we're gonna do second position. I might even cut out the advanced. Okay, so let's go into our second position. <clears throat> my back is straight, shoulders are down, my arms are out where my feet are. Okay, ready? And we're gonna go one, two, I need to go further out, three, four, right? We're going to go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And we're going to come back up, shake it up. How do you feel? Feels good? Let's do that one again. Second position, make sure you turned out from here. Do not do any fitness thing. Just a sec. <laughs> do, do not do anything that's fitness. Do not do anything that's fitness or anything that has to do with working out or anything without consulting your doctor first. Make sure that uh, this is something that you can do with your body consult your doctor um, to make sure that this is something that you can handle, okay? All right, so here we go. We're gonna go from up here, second position. I'm down, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, this stays here, four. You can put your hands on your legs if you need to. Four, one, so that you only, you're moving the waist. Okay, two, Three, four, come back up, shake it out. How do you feel? It's crazy, huh? All right, we're gonna go back down again, but this time we're going to do the twist. You know, I love doing this one. And if you feel comfortable, we can go to the side and to the side. Are we ready? Okay, ready for our second position? Y'all good? All right, we said we're gonna work the lower part, right? So let's work it. So we're gonna go down, open up those legs. Are you low? All right, you can keep your hands here if you want. You can keep them up, you can keep them here. 
Okay, we're gonna go do as much as you can. Three, four, and two. Two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Come on up. Shake your legs up. How do you feel? It's crazy, huh? I'll do it to the side if you need me to. I, you probably know how to do this. You're fine. Okay. All right. We're going to do that again. Here we go. We're going to go up, shoulders down, and one, two, three, four. Move to the right. Two, lunging. Three, four. Back to the center. Two, three, four. Lunge to the left. Two, three, four. Whew, that felt good, right? So what I'd like to do is for you to get on your tippy toes and I'd like you to have your hands like this and just see how far, how low you can go. Now, I've recently been able to do this because um, I've had some training. Let's do that again. Get on your tippy toes and come back up. All right, can you do that? Let's try it here. Okay, but the part tippy toes only goes for as far as you can go, okay? I'm gonna go all the way down, and then I'm gonna come back up. I've been training doing that for a little while, but try it, okay? Go only as far as you can go, all right? What we're gonna do is we are going to do a wave, a wave, a wave, a wave. Go as low as you can go and hold, and then come back up with a wave. Like that. It's kind of advanced, isn't it? If you can't do it straight, let's do it in a plie. Five, six, second position. And one, two, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Come up. Three. Yeah. I have a little 
fun with it. Freestyle. Ready? Do your feet. Pick something you like and just have fun with it. Are you ready? Have fun with it. some technique we worked in some stuff for our bodies work on those things let me know what you think it's very challenging I don't even know how I looked I don't have a mirror <laughs> so hopefully I was doing okay today's message is keep going I had to keep going today um, getting over my cold last week it was really bad cold but I literally was on fire last week fighting I fought so hard last week the weird thing is this week I'm more tired and want to rest, but I'm like, no, I'm clear-minded, I'm feeling better, i got to get up and keep going. So I've seen a lot of posts talk about how November keep going. Something about this time of year, you're like, oh, i got to get up and go still. So keep going. This is my message from the Lord that I feel like he, I'm having to use today for myself. is in my weakness, his strength is made perfect. When you're going after stuff and you just feel like things, the door just keep on shut, shutting or it's just a lot harder than it should be. And you're like, is it hard like this for everybody? Or is this just like, is it just me? Or is it taking a lot of steps to get to that thing? Or so many obstacles or people, you know, like people can just, the enemy can use people to really be in the way. So we are going to remember that we do not fight with people. We fight with principalities. There's a dark spirit behind whatever that person said to you or whatever anyone's doing to you to make it hard for you to reach what God is putting your heart to do. So don't look at the person. Don't stop because of the person. Just say, Lord, in my weakness, your strength is made perfect. If this is something you want me to do, go into the hearts of those people. Shut the mouths of lions. You know, bless me, Lord. Give me favor. Pray for favor. Don't forget to pray for favor. God can do these things for you. Sometimes you just forget to do that. I've done, I did that. I prayed that for years. Then you get so into your daily in and out of life that you tend to forget that you can pray for favor. Because if you're covered with the blood of Jesus, you have favor. And you just need to unlock it. And so it's either something you need to get rid of in your own life. Or you just need to have that faith. You know, I, I've been encouraged by some other people that I've been watching on YouTube and I've been listening to my pastor and I just, I'm being reminded of the fact that it takes our faith and that's what the enemy's trying to do with people is to break our faith, make us weary, make us tired. You know what I mean? If it's not something physical, then he'll do it mental. He'll just make it harder than it should possibly, probably be. You know, all the steps you need to take just to do something simple. You know, so we need the Lord, we need him, we need him, but in all things work together for good. And remember, in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. He has blessed me with many gifts. And what's most frustrating for me is, Lord, you've given me so many gifts, why can't I just do it? Let me just go do what I can do, you know? Why isn't everybody just like moving to the side and waiting for me to come do what I do? You know, because in my weakness, Hallelujah. He's reminding me in my weakness, his strength is made perfect. Do you understand what that means? To me, that means in my surrendering, in seeing that part of me. And he's allowing these things to happen. So I'm, it's revealed to me that I'm not doing it and I can't do it. Even though he's given me the gifts to be able to do many things, 
He's in ultimate control, and I have to humble myself and remember who I am in Him, and I have to walk on faith, works, and faith. I do step out, but it's got to be in faith. So don't give up. Keep moving forward. Keep doing it. I know it's tiring. I'm with you. You have sisters and brothers with you, even though it doesn't look like it. The devil's a liar. You have legions of angels in heaven supporting you. If it seems hard, God's allowing it because he just wants to work something more out in you. Okay? When you get to the other side, you'll be like, oh, that's what he was trying to do. Okay. All right. All right. That wasn't fun though. Couldn't we find couldn't we have found a better way for me to learn this thing, you know? So pray for me. I'm gonna be praying for you. I love you so much. I'm glad we had this time together. I'll see you next week for Belly Dance Fit with Patrice. Okay. I love you. Just one last thing, you know how it takes forever to say goodbye, right? It's like when you love somebody on the phone and you just take forever to say goodbye. That's why it takes me forever to say goodbye to you. But just remember, if you're new to my channel, you're new to the faith, the Christian faith, is that you just can't get these victories and these blessings and everything I'm talking about without receiving Jesus as your Savior first. There is, you just can't. These are not accessible to you unless you've asked Jesus in your heart to be a Lord and Savior. If that's something you want to do, stay till the end, and I will definitely say that prayer with you. If you've already said that prayer, you got it. You have the anointing. Now we just got to unlock that, right? We have to pray. We have to speak victory over ourselves. And this week, remember to pray for favor. Pray for favor. Walk out in faith, okay? I'll see you next week. Stay on if you want to say the prayer of salvation and join this wonderful family of Christ where it's not easy, but we've got the victory. All right. So if you're new to the faith, the Christian faith, and you just want to say this prayer with me, then repeat after me. Jesus, Forgive me of my sins. I turn from my ways. I'm done doing things my way. I believe you lived on the earth. All God and all man. Fully God and fully man. I believe you died on the cross just for me. I believe you unlocked the keys to hell and rose the third day and you're in the right hand side of God the Father. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior so I can live with you forever in heaven when I die. And so the Holy Spirit can be in me from that moment and give me your power because I now know that in my weakness your strength is made perfect. Amen. If you truly, truly said that from for real in your heart, and only God knows that, happy birthday. Today's your birthday. You are what they call born again. It is so important because now you're a baby drinking, you drinking. You need milk. You need milk. In order to get that milk, you have to go to a Bible-believing church. You need to get the Holy Bible. You can get the NIV version. Get some real Bible-believing people that are not going to stray you the wrong way. Ask for God to guide you. He will. The Holy Spirit's in you. God, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. God is in you from that moment that you said that prayer. Hallelujah. You have gifts that are spiritual. And um, I'm just so excited for you. Why don't you go ahead and pray for the Lord to guide you and find a Bible-believing church. They need to have a Bible in their church. They need to believe in the Word. And they need to believe in the Holy Spirit. They need to believe the Holy Spirit is going to help you understand the Word. If they do not talk about the Holy Spirit, you probably don't want to go to that church. So the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? Well, God bless you. Um, email me if you have any questions. Um, if you have prayer requests, I would love to pray for you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.